Just going to show you a little bit about my new Haswing trolling motor. Uh, I've replaced a two-stroke outboard and uh, I've got this little gadget and I'm very pleased with it. It only costs 150 pounds, just in fact a little bit less. I've got a 60 amp hour battery. It should be an AGM or something like that, a sealed battery, but this is a wet battery um, and uh, it's a lot cheaper and it certainly does the job. So let's just show you how we go. I've got uh, I've got a, another phone down here which is showing Navionics and so we'll see how fast we go according to that. Now you can uh, extend the tiller and we'll go backwards to begin with to get out of the way. And then we've got five forward speeds. One is hardly anything at all. Two, three, four, and then the big one is when you go up to five. And now you get a real push. Now we're going against the tide at the moment. And this is showing that we're just doing just over two knots. So I'll go across the tide. And we'll see what it shows us. Two point two, two point four. We're just about getting three knots. Now that's nothing like as good as it would be with a, a petrol outboard, but of course you have huge advantages. This thing only weighs seven kilos. Admittedly the battery weighs a good deal more. It also only costs 150 pounds compared to uh, about 700 for a, a, a petrol outboard. Of course the battery that was about uh, 60 pounds I think. So the whole thing is only a tad over 200 pounds. You also have the huge advantage that you don't have to buy petrol. More importantly, you don't have to store it because uh, petrol, of course, on the boat is not a good idea. And uh, this is completely silent. It's not smelly. And I think it's going to be a huge success. The other thing I hope to do with it is find some way of fixing it onto the back of the boat. I have a Ares steering gear, the lift-up version, and I believe that if I can make some kind of a uh, bracket to go on there, this thing will actually push the boat through the water in a flat calm. Now obviously that would be no good if there's any, any uh, swell or any, well, any chop because it would lift the stern out and therefore the propeller but in an absolutely flat calm as you get for hours on end, possibly days in an open ocean, then this could push it, push it along in the hours of daylight. Now obviously not much good in, at night because uh, the solar panels won't be putting anything in and the wind generator won't be putting anything in. But I believe that it would have the ability to push us on at maybe one or two knots as long as the batteries hold out. Now uh, you charge this little battery here with a pair of decent sized jump leads. Obviously the batteries have to be charging when you do that otherwise you'll just send the current the wrong way. And uh, so far so good.